Okay, I did the arithmetic. The integrals are straightforward. I'm not going to read them to you. Um, yeah, just first region you're integrating from here to here, second region from here to here, third region from here to here. Those are your limits on the integral. And the only thing I did wrong, it took me forever to discover, because once I'd done it, I screwed it up. I mean, I, I followed it. Uh, the integral doesn't go from 4 to 6. You know, when I look up here, I see the 4, I see the 6. Yeah, I don't even think about it. It goes from here to 5. You never get the numbers to resolve. As you see, when I started erasing things, i the result of this integral, okay? Uh, in any case, uh, integration's straightforward as heck, and you can check. I can't believe that it came out the way it did, uh, because when I do this and add all these things up, I get 70, which is way too close to my approximation here. That's just dumb luck. Uh, first place, we would have thought that it would have come out even. Uh, and the second place, we would have thought that my estimate would be not close, because based on the flaw of the graph and everything. Uh, I just made the easy assumptions, took half, uh, stuff like that, and it just happened to work out. Um, and the other thing is, the 96 was high, and the one thing I didn't account for uh, is the fact that uh, this, this thing is really uh, not quite nearly, not nearly a right angle. You got an angle uh, approaching 30 degrees here. You got an angle here, one and four, about 15 degrees. So yeah, it's like a 45 degree angle. So you get only about 70 percent of this, and 70 percent of 16 would be about 11.2. Um, and if you multiply that by the average six. 11.2 times 6 is 67.2, if I did that correctly. That's spontaneous, so no, but it's real close to 70. So, had I accounted for that angle there, uh, we've gotten something very close to 70 with that result also, okay, using the average density of 6. So, um, and you can think about why the average density really should be 6 um, with the subtleties of the region. Um, but it, 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 it works out. Uh, there's a symmetry to it, and symmetry across this line, um, and, and other symmetries that you can look at. Uh, okay, so there we have it. That's kind of a nice uh, a closed discussion of the Jacobian and what it means. Um, and the other thing I'll say is that uh, yeah, we could have taken this region here and mapped it onto a rectangle fairly easily, okay? Had we done that, we'd have had a Jacobian from here to here, a Jacobian from here to here, you could concatenate them and calculate the area of this region. Uh, just one more way to learn just a little bit more uh, about what you can do with this sort of a situation. Okay.